Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening and good day. I forgot my tagline. My goodness. Hey friends, it's Tuesday morning for your hippie and <laughs> plus 13. It's finally every morning cool enough that I need a jacket when I come out to talk to you. And I don't mind that. I like the cooler temps. It's going to be maybe 24, 25 at the peak for the next 10 days and no rain. Anyways, you don't tune in to the hippie for the weather. Cheers and good morning. I've got a big potpourri of things for you today. I've got I want to give you a discussion on what it's all about going out there in this new environment, it, it, trying to get things done with COVID. I don't even know a title yet because it's kind of a potpourri. I went yesterday and I bought my son a laptop. I went for my first time into a big store, into a big area where there's lots of people and taking a taxi and you know instead of telling you why don't i bring you along let's do that but don't forget to come back because but don't forget to come back because i've got three videos of my trip birds i got three videos of my trip trying to get through all this and then come back and see me. We'll have a talk about how it felt, what I did, all that kind of stuff. And then we'll come back for little known facts. Be right back. I know he's going to throw it to me. So here we go. Yeah, this is the adventure of the laptop purchase. The adventure of the laptop purchase. What a horrible title. I'll figure out something better. But anyways. I already phoned the taxi company. They sent a guy. I go out there. There's signs all over. Must wear a mask. I have my mask. I have my gloves. And he didn't have a mask on. He pulls up without a mask. And I question him on it. And he's like, oh, I can put it on if you want. No, fuck off. Go away. Go away. You don't practice proper hygiene, proper care during COVID get out of here i don't want to be in your car i'm not even sitting in there so i phoned them and they said no that isn't their standard so they sent me a new taxi and i'm sitting here waiting for it so the thing that i was worried about the thing that i was concerned about and i asked y'all to give me good luck and moon y'all ray gave me good luck before i even left thank you moon and sun uh has already come to fruition I'm not worried about being in Best Buy or picking up a laptop. I'm worried about being inside a taxi cab, especially one where he doesn't give a damn about hygiene. Just put it on if somebody says something. No. So here we go. Next time you talk to me, it'll be on the other side of the cab ride in front of Best Buy as I go in to see what I can find for my wonderful boy Pasha I'll be back and that guy was absolutely fine wore his mask did what was needed I feel a little better now here we are Best Buy uh, I might as well give them a shout out here we are Best Buy let's see what we can find peace and cheers and here I am here is Pasha's new laptop. I did it and it wasn't, nothing ever goes simple for this family. I got here, I, it was above my daily limit for my card. So I had to spend half an hour on the phone with my bank trying to get the limit up so that the Best Buy could have my money. But I've got it, I've got it. They gave me a four-year warranty for the price of a one-year warranty, and it is a really good laptop. I'll give you more about it later. Now it's time for the taxi ride home. I give them a call. Peace and cheers, love and harmony. Thanks for being a part of today. 
I hope you enjoyed that. It was tough. It was a tough rung. I mean, first of all, the first two taxis they sent me, the first two taxis they sent me weren't wearing their mask. And even when I complained, they said, well, you know, our people are allowed to not wear their mask until someone's in the vehicle. But according to this sign in the back of the taxi, no, they're not. No, they're not. It has a little thing there that those who have some kind of identity to say they're exempt from wearing a mask can be exempt from wearing the mask. It doesn't say the driver does not have to wear it when he's not in the vehicle. We don't know enough yet that if you're driving around in a vehicle that you're going to have people in and out of all day long. I think you need to wear your mask all day long. That's my feeling and I'm going to insist on it now. From now on, whenever I call a cab, I don't just say enter to the, yes, I want the cab at my house. I phone them and I talk to them and I say, hey, your driver is going to show up wearing his mask or I will not go in his car. And I hope to not take too many cabs anyway. And then I got home and I'm always trying to help myself not stress myself out. And I can, I can tell you that because my career was based on development of computers and programs and, and methods and processes and, uh, and all these things that to sit down and start up a new laptop and configure it for Pasha was a stressful thing. It's PTSD in a weird, weird way. I don't like doing it. I've got a lot of knowledge. I've got a lot of ability. I, I can do it like that. And it really, I, I told myself I'll buy the computer Monday, Tuesday, I'll work on programming it by Wednesday. We'll give it to Pasha within an hour and a half of getting home. That computer was done. I'm patting myself on the back a bit for that one. And why? Because I feel good about it. I had some high stress levels. I mean, there was a few things like taking off the antivirus that they put on there and putting on my own antivirus. Those kind of things can get a little technical. And uh, the stress level raised a few times, but I did okay. And now Pasha has, I made a really good deal. The, the, the computer I ended up buying him is easily twice the power of the computer I thought I could get. And for only maybe $150 more. And thank you, his sister and his brother who contributed to the pot to make it so that we could raise him up a little level. And he can say, I've got a really good laptop. He's got a 17 inch instead of a 15 inch, a lot bigger screen, a lot more room, a lot less strain on the eyes for him to do his homework. And he's happy. He's coming over today to get it and bring it home to his mom's house and start using it. I decided, you know, his best bet is to come here and play on it for a couple hours. That way I could, he could say, dad, it isn't doing this or, or I forgot I need this dad. And that way I could get it better set up. Cause I think the last thing his mom wants is him calling me over to work on his computer at her house. Folks, you know, it's time for. I have a few silly and funny ones. First of all, Bruce Lee was so fast, they had to slow it down, the film, to, and slow him down as well. It, a quote from him, even when I slowed down, all the camera showed was a blur. So they had to record him at a higher frame rate 
and then slow it down to be able to get less blur. In today's world, it's captured better because you have a lot better shutter speeds. Didn't have it back then. Didn't say that. I just know that. <laughs> Next, the first product Motorola started to develop was a, yeah, look, <laughs> a record player. A record player for the car. Yes, even <laughs> since at that time, most record players were called the Victrola. They called themselves Motorola. And that's where the name Motorola came from, because their first product they were developing was for your automobile. And just for fun, friends, Roses are red, but here's something new. Violets are violet, they're not fucking blue. A little fun, a little peace, a little cheers in your life, and may this find you well, happy, healthy, and if not, I hope you have some cannabis to make that change. Peace and cheers. Love and harmony.